was that like? Yeah, it was, part in that? it was good. Yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, pretty competitive for the most part. And obviously, uh, as it kind of started to wind down, you could see uh, you know, you guys are putting on some pretty big efforts. So. Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, were you feeling amazing. the pressure toward the end of that first yeah, round, kind of knowing where you were, if you were going to try to survive to get to round two? Or? Yeah, I mean, I was a little nervous after that uh, first start by me. And, uh, yeah, I, don't know, I just wanted to make it to the second round and, and see what happened. And uh, I was able to uh, sneak in there. And, uh, yeah, but, I mean, it was a lot of fun. And I think everybody had a good time. I think the fans enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I think just with the uh, you know, jerseys being in collaboration like Drew House and stuff, I um, just kind of did Drew House inspired uh, skates uh, stick for tonight. And then, um, I got my buddy Finn from some kids. Who, I uh, designed the uh, Drew pair of skates for me for tomorrow's game, so uh, you know, it's cool to be able to participate in events like this and be able to do cool stuff like that. And um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to, to be in a couple of these, and it's always a special honor to, to be a part of it. How much, how much strategizing is going into the forum? Uh, I don't know. I, we haven't uh, just, you know, only the guys are kind of participating. But some of the guys are kind of floating around, but I think we're going to have to have a team meeting tomorrow and then really just dial it in and, and make sure we're all ready to go. What would you make of uh, how we in, uh, especially the last, last one there, I was getting to <laughs> oh, we were cheering for him, but then when he missed the net, it was like, yeah, come on, I know, but uh, he did great, he did great, I mean, he was a, a special player, and uh, you know, I think all the guys that participated tonight, uh, you can see why they're some of the top players in the world, and extremely skilled, and in different ways, so, um, you know, I think we'll be able to hope for him to enjoy it, and be for everybody. How'd you feel watching Connor? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously uh, he's a special player. He's, you know, top of the game, and um, I don't think anybody's really surprised that he's walking away with uh, first place and the big checks. So, um, you know, it's fun watching him. It's fun watching him. I think they would have done great. Uh, I think they would have done really good. Honestly. You know, Mitchie especially in some of those, uh, he's got great edges, great control of the clock, so... Um, no, no doubt he would have been, uh, he would have been up there for sure. There's a lot of fans that were sharing the name. Yeah, I mean, How do you know that? Because I want to. I want to Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proud of where you know I come from and my background and everything. So it's, it's special. Like I said, it's special to have it here in Toronto and uh, you know have the hometown support and uh, and everything that goes along with it and hosting this event. So um, it means a lot. And, just getting on doing the Yeah, I did. did. Um, I thought it was good. I mean, especially when you, you know, kind of winding down the last couple of events and you kind of see where, you know, you are at on the uh, on the leaderboard and uh, you know, definitely a little extra motivation to try to sneak in that second round and anything can kind of happen, right? So um, I thought it was I thought it was cool. And I mean, this is the first year, first year doing this. It's never going to be perfect, but I think it's a good uh, you know kind of base for the future and can continue to to have. Uh, Skills competitions and somewhat like this format and keep it competitive and fun for everybody. Have you really kind of uh, one, two, and the one on one? Yeah. Do you think, wait, maybe I have a chance where you kind of. Is that what Major Juice is going to Honestly, it was, uh, it was the accuracy shooting one because I, I thought I was dead in the water after the first event, the one timers. I didn't do too well on that, but um, yeah, I thought the. Uh, I really wanted to do well on that accuracy shooting. So, you know, I kind of had a had to do something there to, to help you make it to the second round, so uh, I was very excited. Awesome. Awesome. How much of the all-star experience of being a home player versus when you're on the rough and going to a team? Definitely a lot busier. Yeah, definitely a lot 
to do it, but uh, I don't know, it's all, you know, it's all pretty similar, you know, you got some stuff you got to do, but in the end, like, you're just enjoying your time, enjoying your, your break, getting to spend time with, uh, you know, friends, buddies that you've played with in the past, or played with now or you know new guys that you kind of get to know so um all in all i mean it's a great great experience yeah i think it's been going great so it's it's been fun to see and, um talking with uh with someone over the last couple of days it seems like they're really really happy with how everything's been working out so um, it's been really positive from, from what we've uh, been hearing and um, you know, we've been watching some of their games uh, um, they're on before ours so we, we'll have it on in the room so it's always uh, always cool to watch and uh, cool for them to be here as well and kind of get to spend some time with them. So. It's nice to see William win the one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Did you talk about that? Huh? Did you talk about that? Uh, no. It's cool to see you know, new event, uh, new format, so you can come out on top. It's great to see you. Uh, great to see you. What do you think? Oh, that was lots of fun. Lots of fun. New uh, format in general. For me, like I don't really watch. Uh, I didn't watch really the skills before, so I don't really know how, how it was uh, working before. But I think it was a pretty cool concept this year. Did you watch this first? Yeah, I mean, I probably would. Yeah. Uh, the one on one. Yeah, I mean, just try to get as many shots in as possible, and I mean, it was pretty pretty tired by the end of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just picked a goalie that was across from me, so, um, yeah, I, maybe I got a lot of shots in uh, under the bat minute, so it was, it was nice. Did you have a favorite event? Um, I think the last one was probably my favorite. It was a combination of everything, kind of, in a, in a way, so uh, that, was, that was lots of fun. I, I think you would uh, still embrace it the same way. I think it was lots of fun to, to be there. and um, I mean, do I think you'd be, regardless of where it was, you'd be having fun. Really, last night the PWHL was here for the three-on-three -three showcase. What are your thoughts on the launch of the Women's League and just how successful and well-received it is? Yeah, I love it. I've actually been at home and flicking through channels, and then uh, I see that they got a game on, so I, I, I keep watching the game. Um, now I'm not really into all the rules and stuff, but I mean, I've been watching it, so I think it's uh, lots of fun and a huge, uh, huge for women's hockey. Was there anything Yeah, it was. Uh, I think the last, uh, the last one for the for the prize uh, was uh, was the best. Thing. Was it just because of the challenge of it, or just because? The yeah, I, I think it had everything kind of in in it. Uh, I mean, you had to be, I mean, versatile and everything. So. Um, I mean, I like the shooting stuff too. It's always lots of fun. This looked like it was exhausting. Oh yeah, as as die when you go so when you go from resting for like 45 minutes and then going full speed, you're, you're pretty gassed after a minute. Plus, you only get to see it a couple times a year. Yeah. And then you get to see all the aspects tonight. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, pretty pretty incredible the speed and and the pace that he plays with. And I mean, you just saw it out there tonight. Yeah, lots of fun. I mean, I haven't been part of a Olympic tournament in in a long time. I think uh, that would be something very special. And the Four Nations uh, next year will be lots of fun to get uh, to get the international competition going with the best of the best in the world. Yeah, I, I, I really feel for him there. I think, uh, I mean, in uh, with the Czech League going on, I think maybe, or other leagues in Europe where they um, have some really good players, they're not able to, to get them out of there for those uh, for that tournament at that time. So um, I feel bad for him in that way because it's always fun representing your country. I think just three on three will be lots of fun. A lot of, a lot of competition, money on the line. So. Uh, We'll be competing for that money. <laughs> I mean, our team, our guys. Let's go. You said on the broadcast that Cam Talbot was straight across. 
that really the level of thought you put into it? Was there pressure to pick Yeah, I mean, I was just looking at the goalies, and I just like, okay, I'm just going to go with the guy across from me. And I felt like he was looking at me, so I was like, okay, I'll grab him. <laughs> yeah. What did you say to him afterwards? I just said, yeah, oh, thanks. He did a great job. And, and uh, sorry for picking him, but it was good. Yeah, I had a new just new stick. Uh, I think that's coming out later. Um, but yeah, it's nice.